up for Ms. Monique Flores. What is up? How are we party people? Give it up for yourselves, everybody here tonight. Everybody find a sitter for their kids. Right? And by that, I mean you got your oldest kid watching your youngest kid right now. That's why I had my kids when I was 15, guys. Yes. I'm Latina. People say it's an epidemic for Latinos to have kids in their, in their... How do we fix teenage pregnancy in the Latino world? That's family planning. Don't worry about what we're doing over here. You know what I mean? Because I'm 30 and I got a staple babysitter. You know what I mean? Until she gets pregnant and then I'm screwed. Damn it. I'm messing with you guys. I'm 39 this year and I have no children. Yeah, she could clap it up for that. I'm not a lesbian hater in the back. I'm not a lesbian. I'm like, she must not like dick. No, I love contraceptive. That's what I love. And that morning after pill's over the counter now, guys. Heck yes. I'm so preventative, I take the morning after pill the night before. Let's go. I'm racking up my CVS points with that shit. I get extra bucks back every quarter, baby. Let's go. I'm a baller at CVS. Let's go. The girl in the back's like, I'm gonna write that one down, bitch. I crush it up. I do a line of it. You gotta make that shit count, ladies. You find yourself take. I have crazy white girl sex. I just take a morning after pill. And all the white girls got quiet. They're like, what the, what's she talking about? Crazy white girl sex. The shit white girls do on the first date that Latinas gotta get talked into. You know what I mean? <laughs> the white girls don't like me right now. They're like, fuck her, Madison. Shit. I, where are my white girls at? Where are my white girls at? Make some noise. I love you, Brittany. I fucking love you, but you're, but, but you're messing up the fellatio game, homegirl. I'm just saying. White bitches don't even need a head push. They're like, I'll suck a dick. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm Catholic-ish, you know? We're going to talk about some things, you know? Like, did you watch this? And I fuck with Mexican guys, so I'm like, you better pull the skin back and watch it one more time. I'm just saying. All the Mexican guys got quiet. They're like, fuck, what the fuck, dog? <laughs> fuck you and your accordion dick. Watch that shit. I'm talking about real shit, fuck. I'm a bigger girl, big girls, where you at? Okay, bitches, there should be some claps, I'm just saying. Let's smell the ranch from the fucking chicken we fed you earlier. All of a sudden, there's no big bitch in here. All right. Anybody ever been with a big girl? Anybody? One black guy, that's it, shocker, all right. Some of you are sitting next to a big bitch right now, you're just too scared to clap. Okay. Clapping with your eyes and shit. I see you guys. Embrace your fat girl. In Spanish, we call this a lonca. I call it a fat roll. You can put your shit right here. It's the tightest thing you ever felt. I'm just saying. <laughs> Girl's like, write that one down, bitch. This bitch is full of ideas. Shits. <laughs> no kids, man. And I come from a big Mexican family. Any Mexicans in here? Yeah. Um, and I'm third generation Mexican-American, so I'm like a pocha, as they say, I'm a coconut. Listen, that means my parents are from here, my grandparents are from here, my great-grandparents are from here. And when you're third generation Mexican and you live in Los Angeles, these people that are immigrants or, Mex or children of immigrants, they try to size you up, bro, all the time. Today I ordered some breakfast. I wanted some chilaquiles. The waitress at the Mexican restaurant was freaking rolling her R's and shit. They didn't have R's in it, bro. And she was judging me because I can't roll my R's, you know? My name is Monique Flores. I guess I can say Flores. I can't say it. I'm sorry. I can't roll my R's. That bitch can't say chair. We're fucking even. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I come from a huge Mexican family. Both my parents are one of 11 children. Yes. So, like, I'm the only cousin. I'm the only prima without a kid. And when this happens to you, people try to size you up in your family, you know? First of all, they want to know what's wrong with you because they don't get it. They're like, well, what's going on with Monique? And they tell me, what's going on with Monique? And I'm like, I don't know, you told me to get a college education, be independent. My mom's like, no, fuck all that. Go in the club and fucking get pregnant. I don't care. Like, I need a baby from you. <laughs> like, it all goes away, right? Like, because I'm my mom's only daughter. And she says weird shit to me sometimes. She's like, you don't understand. You're messing up the circle of life. <laughs> a baby came out of my vagina. You need to come out of, a baby needs to come out of your vagina. I'm like, why are you grabbing yourself right now? We are at church. But my cousins, this is what I love, because I got that one cousin with like six kids, seven baby daddies, bitches a hater, we all have her, right? 
And she tells me things like, Monique, you're living your life, you're doing what you want to do, but I don't know where my life would be without my mijito, without my baby. He fulfills me, my king and my babe. I'm like, you're mijo, you're king. This little fucking gremlin that just threw his tablet at you? <laughs> this fat piece of shit that you spend thousands of dollars on every year for Pop Warner football, and he's never gonna make it in the NFL, cousin, never. <laughs> There's no Mexicans in the NFL. And look at Aaron Hernandez. It's not gonna fucking happen, bitch. <laughs> and your babe, your fucking man, he stares at me too long, all right, prima? <laughs> just saying. Huge family, man. I hate, and don't invite me to the birthday parties. I hate them. I don't have a five-year-old. Why do I have to go to a five-year-old's birthday party, right? And then you show up late and the whole family just looking at you like, oh, here she is. She's probably hung over. Yes, I am. You wanna know why? Because I'm doing me, bitch. I don't have a kid. Like, all she ever brings is ice. You told me to bring something in a bag, all right, cousin? I'm here. Where are the Micheladas? Let's go. I, I got COVID in November, man. But I quarantined with my mom and my aunt, and I quarantined single. And let me just tell you guys, like, this whole, remember how we had to go on lockdown? I don't want to do, if this shit happens again, I need to find a man, bitch, because this shit, <laughs> this was hard, bitch, because I told you I'm chunky, but I'm choosy, you know what I mean? Like, like people were taking freeways to get to this shit before quarantine. And I was choosy, I was so choosy, bitch. I'd be like, ah, fuck him, fuck him. He's a fuck boy, not fuck him. And then I went on quarantine for three months with my aunt and my godmother and my mom, and I was like, fuck, I should have fucked that boy, damn it. <laughs> fuck a quarantine, bitch, I need a quarantine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I used to be strictly Latino, like, you know, because I want to keep in on my culture, what's he gonna do at a barbecue? Bitch, I will fuck a white guy right now, let's go. <laughs> my name's Monique, I'm halfway there with the black folks, let's go, I got a black name. Asian guy, stop Asian hate, baby. Let's find a fucking cure right now. <laughs> Opening up my heart, man. Quarantining with my mom took me back to when I was a little girl, bro, because I have not lived with this woman since I graduated college, okay? And I have a college degree. I have a business degree from University of Laverne, yes. Because sometimes you say that as a comic and people don't believe you, you know? <laughs> yeah, I went to college, that's cute. I'm like, no, bitch, I went to college. They're like, what kind of college? I'm like, I didn't go to one of those co colleges you see when you're watching Mori Povich, you know? We've all seen that one, right? The one of the reformed Chola. She's like, before you, EIM, my life was going nowhere. <laughs> Me and my son Miguelito, we shopped at the indoor swami. <laughs> but with one phone call, I'm a medical assistant. <laughs> and now we shop at Ross. <laughs> Shout out to Ross. This jacket's sponsored by Ross, bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. You ever been out in public, ladies, and somebody has the same top as you, and you're like, fuck that bitch got it at Ross. Shit. <laughs> it's even worse if she got it at Dee Dee's, I'm bitch. Because Dee Dee sells shit that Ross won't, bitch. That's, that's how you know you're broke, bro. <laughs> so you got $20 for the weekend, bitch. Five for a top and 15 for after club tacos. Because we don't buy drinks at clubs, right? <laughs> but I quarantined with my mom, and I have not lived with her since college, dude. So I'm taken back, because, like, she's still treating me like a little girl during this whole quarantine time. Like, every Saturday morning, I had to get up and clean. I had to look busy and shit. Just traumatized through my childhood. Because that was the number one way to piss my mom off growing up. Be asleep while she was cleaning, right? And my mom always had, like, this armor when she fucking cleaned. She would wear, like, this high ponytail, spandex shorts, sports bra that exposed this big gallbladder scar just from here to here. I thought my mom was a G, you know, she just had gallstones in the 70s, that's... And she would come into my room, and it was always like, my mom's like Chicana, so it was always like how ethnic, sometimes it was Cumbia, sometimes it was Shalimar. It was whatever, it was her, that was her cleaning music, you know? So I would hear like those bookies, for example, I'd hear, dun, 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 dun. I was like, oh, this bitch is cleaning right now, shit. And I'd wake up as a little girl, I'd try to look busy. Just something, dude, I was picking up shit. Fuck, I don't know, this looks cleaned out, you know? And she'd come in the room. Must be real nice to sleep in, little girl. I'm like, mom, I'm like nine, yes. That's what, what am I supposed to be doing, shit, yeah? You're supposed to be contributing to this house, Monique. You need to contribute to this house. I'm tired of you running the streets. I'm like, I'm like nine, like, I'm playing tag, mom, shit, like. 
I don't care what it is, you need to contribute to this house. I'm like, all right, well, all the utilities are already in my name, so. <laughs> Nine years old, having hit puberty, got a collection notice, mom. What's up with that shit? Dude, my mom, dude. Even the scar would talk shit to me, like, you better wake up, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> and I grew up with a hot mom, a hot, like, see, my parents split when I was seven from Northern California, we moved down here to, to LA. My mom didn't realize how hot she was. You know, that shit was dormant. She had a flare up when she got here. Her hoe was just dormant and then came here and just, wow, clubs, man, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, so I wanted a fat short mom like all my other Mexican friends, you know what I mean? Maybe a silver tooth, something. Not my mom, this bitch was banging from birth, like 100 pounds, fucking five foot one my whole life. She was prom queen up my prom, bro. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Two years in a row, that's embarrassing. People are like, Monique, that's your mom? Wow, she looks amazing. Look at her skin, she's poreless. She's 65, you're gonna age great. I'm like, I look like my dad, all right, man? <laughs> You know, people have an ugly friend. I'm my mom's ugly friend, bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm venting. This is group therapy. Shout out to you guys for that. It's been a while. It's been a while. Things are opening up. Like, my homegirls finally were getting together. You know, but these girls are forgetting who we were in our 20s. And, like, you know, like, because I'm having a hard time. I'll be 40 next year. And... I mean, I'm just having a hard time, so like, I'm trying to like, still kind of be in it. Girl, we got two more years left, let's go, right? And so, my home, so we, we, we uh, you know, restaurants are finally opening up in LA. The homegirl, Blanca, this was the crazy bitch back in the day. This was the bitch that was like, you know, where you at, always had us on the guest list, always had us at bottle service, so she put on Facebook, she made this shit official, because that's how old I am. <laughs> she said, quarantine lifted, I'm choosing the place, bitches. Location to be determined. And she tagged all the crew, right? I was like, fuck, we're gonna get lit, bitch. <laughs> so there we are at Olive Garden. Because Blanca had a group on, because that's how crazy we are in a bitch. We're like, and we're not getting crazy on anything. The only thing we're getting crazy on is cheese, because we're fat now, you know what I mean? That cheese they put on the salad, just saying fat girl things to the waiter, like, we'll tell you when, bitch. He'd say, yeah, he's acting like it's his cheese, bitch. It's not your cheese, Chad. Just fucking, just keep on going, fucking guys. It's like... And I was the only one out of the crew that got COVID. The only one. But I had a real easy run at it. I was blessed. I just lost, like, my, te my sense of taste and smell, a couple body aches. I was blessed. So they're asking me, Monique, well, how did you, how'd you do that? How'd you maintain your immune system? You know, what? I was like, well, I don't know, like, got these generic multivitamins, why don't you guys try them? I got them at Walmart, it's the Equate brand, seems pretty legit. Here, have them in my purse, try them. You should have seen every one of these chicks. What? You take Walmart vitamins? Let's look up the side effects. What are in the ingredients? These are my party girls, right? I was like, bitches, we used to take ecstasy from strangers, okay? All of a sudden, you wanna know what's in a one-a-day, Blanca. What the hell? Can we take it on an empty stomach? Bitch, we took Coke on an empty stomach. <laughs> but Blanca's different now, girl. She's her authentic self. You know, she's that bitch. I'm my authentic self. I did ayahuasca and I seen that I, bitch. <laughs> she's dating a white guy. She grew out her eyebrows. Like, I don't know who this bitch is. <laughs> she developed a gluten allergy. Like, really? <laughs> Two years ago, bitch, you were in tamales with me. But this year, you can't eat gluten. Okay, bitch. All right, all right. She's real concerned about my diet. She's like, Monique, you eat too much processed food. Mo, you gotta eat clean. I'm like, Blanca, you swallow, okay, bitch? <laughs> I'm no expert, but there's some processed shit in that. I'm just saying. <laughs> They're forgetting who we were. I'll call you, Blanca used to bring Coke to inappropriate events. <laughs> like one time she, I was like, this is Julie's aunt's wake. Why do you have Coke here? to wake us up for what? <laughs> but no, now she just likes to post those daily selfies, you know? You know we all got that one homegirl, daily selfie doing the fake look away. <laughs> hey bitch, we know you're holding the camera and you hit your arm, but she's like. She puts like an inspirational quote on the bottom. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Like, what calendar from Ross did you get that shit off, bitch? <laughs> that girl, dude. 
So I, I'm, I'm like reverting back to like, I'm just telling you guys, I'm this, this turning 40 shit's messing with me, bro. So like my, my nieces, they're all like in their 20s and you know, they come to me, you know, like I'm some fucking oracle. Oh, tia, the clubs are opening up again, the festivals. And you know, like I'm like back in my day, we didn't know the lineup for raves, you know? We just went down a dirt road, right? We hitched some ride from some guy that was trying to fuck us. Like, right girls? Like, we just went down a dirt road, went for the oomph, 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 and then boom, we were there, you know what I mean? Like, you know, but they were, <laughs> so I went, I was like, okay, I want to relive my 20s. So I, I went back to my MySpace account, guys. Because I was in my 20s, everything was tight and right in my 20s, bro. Like, my, I had my top eight, I had my 20s, I, I had a nice body. I miss my drug body, can we just talk about that? I'll, t I'll talk about it. I miss my body I had when I did drugs, bitch. It's like, I had tweaker acne, but I had abs. You know what I mean? <laughs> there was a trade-off. Like, I fucking traded addiction for board borderline diabetes out here. It's just, fuck, it's just... <laughs> and I try to hang with these little girls, too, because recently, because, you know, during quarantine, they knew about, like, the underground parties and stuff, and I was like, I'm about it. Let's go, man. I'm your Tia Monique. I'm your Auntie Mo. Let's go. Should I wrote the book on After Hours? Let's go. So we went to one, I handled myself fine. Went to another one, I was cool. They're like, you ready to go to the third one, Auntie? It, it goes till 11 a.m. I was like, the third one, let's go. Guys, I was so burnt out when I got to that third one. I felt like one of those hot dogs you've seen at 7-Eleven all day. <laughs> you ever seen that hot dog, babe? The bitch has been there since coffee. <laughs> She's just bloated in the middle and burnt on both ends. That was my ass at fucking 11 a.m. just hoping somebody would pick me up. I was just like, somebody come get me, shit. Man, I can't hang. I I'm admitting it. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my heels in, yeah, it's over. And I'm not a parent, but I'm a godparent, right? And <laughs> my cousin asked me when I was 17 years old to be a godparent for one kid, but now I got three of these guys, okay? <laughs> I'm just like, cousin, put me on the list, but not indefinitely, you know, for the emergencies. And it's just getting inconvenient because shit's opening back up. And I'm, it was this, this past weekend, she was already coming for me and my godmother duties, right? Last Saturday, she's like, hey, she texts me. My, my cousin's a niece, a nurse. She, she picks up shifts whenever she can, right? So she's like, hey, picking up another shift, cousin. Can you get the kids for a soccer tournament? I'm like, bitch, it's Saturday night. It's about to be Sunday morning, 2 a.m. She's like, no, well, you know, can you get them tomorrow, Sunday morning, all day at 7 a.m.? 7 a.m., bitch? I got a booty call at 3 a.m., damn it. But I'm a good godparent. I showed up with looking for the kids. I knock on the door. My cousin's like, Monique? I'm like, what? She's like, I can't believe you would show up like this. You're late. Look at you. You're drunk still. I'm like, bitch, I'm on point. I got last night's makeup on. Where are these kids? Let's go. <laughs> Round them up, bitch. I can't believe you, Monique. I can't believe you. I'm like, you can't believe me. I can't believe you chose me in the event that you die to take care of your children, bitch. I'm like, do you smell me? This is sex and regret from last night, bitch. You got me here with one eye open looking for your kids. They all come out, they're like, Auntie, where's your car? I'm like, get in the Uber, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Auntie doesn't drive drunk, and we might need to use your Uber account because I just got a balance alert, shit. <laughs> Talk about my dad before I get out of here. I recently went to go visit my dad. Texas is fully open, that's where my dad lives. And uh, I, I was the baby for 21 years of my life. And then my dad remarried. I have a little brother. I have a little sister. I know they didn't ask to be born. And, you know, people tell me this shit. They try to tell you that shit to soothe you. But fuck this. All right. I, I'm not bitter, but let's just talk about it. My dad worked very hard for the life he has today. He retired. He remarried. He's in South Texas. Me and my older brothers didn't get to see him much because he was always working. That's fine. Whatever. Fight on, dad. He's hands on now, you know. My little brother and little sister have been to Disney World six times. Six times. We didn't even have the Disney Channel growing up, bitch. But I'm not bitter. You know, I'm a latchkey child. That means I used to wake myself up, walk myself to school, bring myself home. I essentially was my babysitter growing up, okay? I used to live in Rosemead, California. We used to walk down Rosemead Boulevard. One year, thank you, one person, thank you. One year, fourth grade, true story. Showed up to school, nobody was there, dude. Fuck. All right, well, I'll just wait. I was like a white bitch in a horror movie. I was like, hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> the gardeners show up. They're like, uh, we figured it out that uh, I was there an hour early. My mom forgot to set the clocks back. 
but my mom was already at work and I'm already at school, so I was a good Mexican. I was like, well, just give me a rake and I'll fucking just go to work right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of those moments. I, I can roll with the punches. I'm good. Not these little kids today. I go visit my dad. My little sister's a senior in high school, right? He's like, mijita, can you pick up your little sister from school today? She can't walk home from school. I'm like, I can fucking see the school from the front yard, dad. What do you mean? <laughs> Are you crazy? She can't cross the street like that. Somebody will take her. I was like, what about me rocking down Rosemead Boulevard, nine years old? Are you saying I'm not kidnappable or what, bro? I'm like, all right, dad, I got you. Got in my dad's truck, centered myself, bitch. I was just like, they didn't ask to be born. All right, I'm gonna get you, sis. I see my little sister in the corner, drove right past her ass, fuck you. She needs to know what disappointment feels like. You know what I'm saying? I got back an hour later without my sister. My dad's like, where's your sister? I'm like, where's my bike for my 12th birthday, bro? <laughs> but I'm not bitter. My name is Monique Flores. You guys, thank you very much. <laughs> Follow me at Just Say Mo. Thank you very much. Get up for your host. This has been a Funny Media Group production.